like a Shabbos and a Sunday for bringing so I know if I bring with him a lot it's, um, he was the main speaker to a big uh, meeting that they have there it was like a public for public for bringing a lot of foolishers and that come people come to hear him because uh, they know he's going to speak uh, to the point <laughs> so we had one one uh, one Shabbos uh, where we for breakfast, the whole Shabbos, <laughs> Friday night to very late we for bring. And Shabbos bled out the dawning right through the Mincha and then <laughs> after Mincha he was talking with people and also talking about Rosh <laughs> And then Moetah Shabbos was a Malava Moses, final <laughs> 24 hour period of uh, for bringing. So he's a, a remarkable guy. <coughs> Today is Gimel Shvat Tesh and Samik Test, and we're on uh, Ahmed Yud Dalid uh, Samik Test. Tesh says, "Yeah, take it in with the Pshitas." Those are the types. So Rabbi didn't mean anything by way of you know signs and all sorts of things. What the Rabbi said, that's what he meant. That's his way. That's his sort of his. Just take with the Pshitas. What the no, no, Right, so we were holding by the the iron of the Yesha Miti. <laughs> we saw that he's in a his bitl is in a eve of an iron boy first, and therefore he's saying to get a mock here, Cloud is not able to be a mock here. So we saw that a, a mokur has to be some form of a yesh. Being as it is a mafia for a mashpia to some other and gives chayas to some other union, then it itself has to also be in the form of a yesh. And with that we will mafarish the whole union of David the Melech, that he was a meteor. Merkova to the union from Malchus. He was shorshe with the Emes, the union of Sphira Samalcha, that he was Melech Yisrael. He was a Melech HaKlali of Koladeris, Melech Yisrael, uh, called um, uh, Malchus Yisrael. From then on, we're all uh, 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 Mishpachas David, that was the name for Malchus, based uh, David. And we saw that was uh, a union, <coughs> because Malchus, Bietim Yone, is yes, so therefore he was a Bar Nafi, and he had to have the union of Nasinus Chayas, uh, from the sphere of uh, Shalom Ailem, otherwise it wouldn't have been Shai Adina from Chaim, from El uh, in the uh, sphere of Samalchus And even though that needs a lot of beer, there's a lot of other Inyanim and Malchus apart from that. But uh, we stress that we're only talking about one given Prat or, or Tzad, how it is in Malchus. There's a lot of union in my mother which is connected with uh, a union of Bittu. Uh, but um, when I get to the Etim figure of the Melech and his relationship, as the Rabbi brought Ein Melech, Beloi Om, that he's got to relate as a Mashpia Atzmi and clearly to all the people, and therefore he has to be in that regard, he's in a, even for his Nasus and yet. And so therefore we saw <coughs> that the Ein Amiti, how it is, Lamaila is not boy from Gazer. Well, the Ayan Amiti is in for an Ephes, it's Beetle, it's in even for Ayan for Ephes, and therefore it can't be a Mokhe, because it's so Botil. The Etzim in Yone Atzme, it's Beetle, the title is, and therefore it's not shy to be a Mokhe. Now, it's Perigoy, Hone Beyesh Lema, the Bechina Zu, and the Bechina Smokhe, Klali Gamke. And we can suggest. So when we say it's not a union of a mokia, then we mean not even a mokia kloli. Because <coughs> we pointed out that there can be madrigas which are called mokir klali. In other words, that they're a klalila prat. And they're kuilu in the more general state, all the protium, and then the protium go out from them into distinctive uh, de- derivation. And I'm shocked from the kloli. 
However, when we say that something is not a mokia afilu kloli, then we mean it's moved out from protim altogether. It's not a klalila ela prat, that it's a, a, a inu from pashitas and avdola even from protim. And so therefore we saw that that was the milo uh, achmi in the iron of the yeshamiti, that he's uh, not even a, a mokia uh, afilu, but even sure klal, which is from milo protein, but it's nonetheless curve of the protein. He's not even in that level, but he's moved out even from the union of cloud. Hagam shin is boil the by moshel de koya And now we point out that the moshel that we bought earlier of the koya hatsuimaya in shenim to baoret, we're now going to show that that's not the tachlis adiyuk in ala protein. As well now, that whenever we take a moshel, uh, particularly Me'el Magashmi, or even the way Me'el Magashmi functions according to Klolim uh, of Elakus, it's very hard to draw them as exact Mosholim to the Inyonim Halaya Alamayla, because the Inyonim uh, Alamayla are Mamish Elakus uh, Be'emas. Uh, uh, their Mamish Inyonim are Klolim Be'atmus, is Bora, but that's Elakus Mamish. And in Yonim, which are already moved out, uh, or Mugbal, in Yonim Gashmi and Slamata, it's very hard to find a fitting and direct, exact marshal from that to Ella, Ella Kuz. There's always a certain uh, Prat or Shnayim that are a bit lacking. So here we point out uh, that general marshal, the Kurch Atzimeya, that there's one Prat which is not completely Bedeimer to the Indian of Zahad Islam. And that's what he's like, Amshin is Bo'ol Iyo. But Moshe, the Kerach HaTamea, the base Bechin is Ayin, the Bechin is Mokye Klali, or Mokye Prati. In other words, even the Ha'ora of the Kerach HaTamea, the Ha'ora Klali, which we brought as a dogma to the Ayin of the Yeshu Amiti, uh, we saw that that was a mocky a klali. In other words, it was a, a klau, a lamaila from klau, or prat, or beer, but it was still a inu from klau. Meaning that all the protein were there, but even, but in more in a state of, uh, abstractity than in a normal klau, or prat. So therefore it could also be called a mocky a klali, albeit not in the normal sense of klau, or prat. Oh, but nonetheless, we did call it mocky a klali. And therefore we call the, uh, the other, the other ha'ora, which is the, uh, iron of the, of the yesh hanivra in the moshel, we call that a mokhe prati. We call mokhim, nonetheless, how do we say in the nimshal, the maila, that it's not like that? And then he says, yesh loim at the beginning of zu sheba ayin, yesh loim at the beginning of efes, mamish, mitad habitol, eno gam beginning of mokhe klali. Uh, the, he said, nonetheless, we could say that in this Pekhina, in me, meaning how it is, Lamaila, the Ayan of the Yeshu Amiti, Mamish, since it's Ephes, Mitzad, the Beetle Sheboy, it's Beetle, is Ephes, and we saw that Ephes is absolute naught, and then we could say that, uh, and that's the Beetle in the mud. Uh, in other words, we've seen throughout when we discuss the uh, uh, Ayan of the Yeshu Amiti, for that matter, the other Madrega of the Iron of the Yesha Nibra, we discuss them first of all in their level of Gilal Uth, compared to the Atmos and compared to other Madregas, and we describe their level of Gilui, and then we describe their Bitu, what way they are bottled to the Atmos. And we saw in that yesterday in the, in the uh, Hagur at the, at the bottom, that that depends on, in that Guru, there's different levels in that itself, different three or four different ways that we can have beetle of the oiris how they are clappy ha'atzmas. But that depends on the mile of the earth and the mile. Well, that shows that even in the ayin of the yesha miti or the ayin of the yesha niva, there are like different gradations or different ways of uh, taking it in comparison with the atzmas. You know, there's just not one stable madrega, but it's cold in itself. There are different, uh, what you might call, grades or oifanim, like we saw, kula kamei kaloicha shivei, mashi yote kamei yote kaloicha. The nearer you go to the atmos, then the more you become mamish potia. So that's already the beetle of the madrega, not just a description of its level in gilelakus, but um, a description of its pitu. So Rebbe said that Rebbe, since the Ayan Lamaila Adayesh Amiti, his bitl is Bebrinus Ephes Mamish, Mitada Bitl, Mitada Inan of Bitl, 
then there ain't no gun between this mocker clearly it can't be a mocker even a mocker clearly because something which is completely uh, bottom and even of naught absolute schlilis color matthias but that can't be a mocker to something to something <coughs> But you can say, Alder of Moshe, we can understand this, how something is beyond being a Moshe altogether, uh, a Moshe altogether, mitzad its people. What we find, Yesh, Kam, Kain, Gimel, Madregas, Hanal. Of Yesh, Ayin, Vayesh. In other words, what we call Yesh, Amiti, in the Moshe of the Adam, Ayin, and then, Yes, what we might call a marshal for yes, a nivra in the highest of the nefesh of the of the other. Um, we, said, we said yesterday that uh, this bittel is put in, into into Chochma, in Natsilu. Yeah, yeah, that's in uh, that's already uh, 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 a slightly uh, uh, different in that child is already in Chochma Natsilu. But oh, that's not because Chochma is a dogma of the eye of Amiti. Oh, we said that Chochma is a special in and it's Kaviochal the Ebster plants beetle in animals and outside. And that's an Indian Pneumia was just not Lafisa to Hamadrega's uh, cloud. But it just so happens that in the in the spirit of Sahokma, the Altar is in our God, and like we pointed out, we spoke about it the Rikas yesterday, that that's why he said, Oh the Shumaiti me moiri. He said he heard that from the Magid, because if you didn't hear that from the Magid you can't really say that. But uh, if you remember all the Indian we went into uh, yesterday about that. <clears throat> so now we go on, and he says that, uh, that uh, we can say that there are these three levels of yesh, ayin, ver, yesh, in the highest of the nefesh, ho'odo. Where are we? The nishoma atzmo, the etzema nishoma, hari hila maile, mibkhinas amshocha, u mibkhinas gilui legamrei. In other words, the very essence itself is never nimshach or never mizgale. It's only ha'oras from the etim which are nimshach or mizgale. The ha'ora, but not the etim himself, is not mizgale. The etim and nishoma is like that. It's not the very essence of the nishoma is not bebchinas uh, is gale, so not bebchinas am amshocha. And that's what the Alter Rebbe says in Tanya and Perik Nun Aleph. If you look up over there, he describes the Etzim and Neshama as an Etzim Ruchani Poshu. Uh, how do you call it? An Etzim, a spiritual Etzim, which is absolutely Petachus Apa, Peshitas. And like we saw, Peshitas means no Matthias, as we've seen here the whole time. Peshitas is a way of describing the concept of Hedar HaMatthias, meaning completely moved over from any Shaykh. Uh, to any form of yesh or matthias, and therefore it's not even a, a moke or sheba moke, or moke or sheba moke, sheba moke, to any uh, actual isgalas or amshocha from the nefesh. So that's called the inin of the, of the etzim and nefesh, and therefore he's not, he's la, he's la maila, uh, from b'chines uh, amshocha, um b'chines gilu legamre. That's what the altar of the over there in Prague, no nada. Can we call etzim? Like any etim, uh, uh, meaning the etim of any series of haores, if we go back to the etim from those haores, she'ena nimshach or mizgala biatz muse, the very essence is not mizgala. So, now we find that uh, even in koiches of the onim kamoi koicha seicho, koicha amidus, oedin yon kailu, if we go right back to the shore shalaya, mamishin etim, then they're not Pukhina Samshach, the Etim Yuli Ha'achmi, as we call it, of Seichel, for example, is not Pukhina Samshach or Gilu Be'klau. It's only after Ha'orahs go off from that that then it becomes Shaykh that we can also, Baderach Hamtsua, not Baderach Gilu, of Derach Ha'arikot Ha'seidah Masuda, uh, that we get the go- uh, Giluim from those Koechas. And that's because of their withdrawal uh, in, in that cloud that an Etzim is not uh, Nimshat in its own self. It only gives off Horus from itself, and then those are Nimshat. Now, he said, Dimian Lebechines Yesh Oamiti. 
that etzim and nefesh, be etzim and musayim. Well, that's a, a comparison to the concept of Yeshua meat. Who begins ha'oras on Nishama? Yeah, there's a ha'ora that goes off from that Nishama. Who begins ayin? Then that will be like the yeah, ayin of the Yeshua meat. The akoyches k'moishu boim b'hag shoma b'klei aguf. The koyches, the way they come down in a form of, of uh, uh, materiality or becoming more physicalized, and they enter the kalim of the actual guf. Zehu b'chinus yesh, or that's the union of yesha nivra, as it were. That's already a, a simple yesh. In other words, the koyach haseicho helps me. Slavish mamish in the moya, or the koyach ha'avo, the midas ha'avo, that's mislavish in the lave, or even lower than that, the koyach ha'tnua, how it's mislavish mamish in the hand or the, or the legs to move them, are there already, uh, are that union and the slabses of the koyach in the actual ava of the goof, or that way of a kli, or that's called uh, the union of yesh, or that's how the way of the nishoma has gone down. And united itself and become in the form of a of a yesh. So those are the two extremities. So in the middle we're going to find two levels of ayin. And he said, "Ubchines zero ubchines yesh." Va ayin yesh poy beis madreyas. Just like we found in the ayin lamaila. Similarly here we find that there's two levels. The hine isav medrashaba barashis. Perik Yudalad, that sitting over there that David the created the man of Amino Adomo, and then Vayipach Poi, the up of Nishmas Chaim, David the blew into his uh, nostrils, uh, the what's called the term, calls it Nishmas Chaim, the Nishoma of life. So the, the Medrash comes along over there and says that that Nishoma, what the Avish to breathe Kaviyocho into the nose of the Minch, well, that's got five names. <clears throat> and it says, yeah, be dehine, be medushraba, perig yudalid, hey shemus nikro la. Five names have been called to this nishoma, or in other words, it has five names: nefesh, ruach, nishoma, chayi, chayo, yechid. So we're already familiar with them. Nefesh, ruach, nishoma. Those are the koyches uh, that are already mislavish in the evarim. They can be slabs in the in the actual go. The ilu chaya yechida they're already lamaila from the etzim mislabshes, and they're called makifim or atzmias of the nara. Harei yechida agamshin is bo be chamadukte. Koftal means chamadukte means in several places. So we see from that that the yechida, even though it's explained in certain places, you hubkin is etzim hanefesh. In certain drushim it appears that we talk yechida uh, uh, as the very essence of the soul. In a bms who come can racha oras hanefesh levod. The truth of the matter is that yechida is not really mamish the simple pshita so the etzim hanefesh that the altar calls of the etzim ruchni poshut. The yechida is not a name for that. And what's the proof? <coughs> he said in shahare. Oima hey shame is nikro lord. The matter says that five names are called to the nishoma. Yeah, what nikro law hainu la nishoma. Im kein gam yechida he shame ha nishoma velo yachmusa. So now it follows that the word yechida is also a name of the nishoma. If it's only a name, then it's not the very essence, because all names. Are also a form of ha'ora bilvat. So when we say hey shemois nikro lo, then we're talking about different gradations in ha'oras. And when we said yechid is the highest, so we mean that's a ha'ora coming from the etim, but it's not the etim itself. And therefore, uh, the, 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 the rabbi points out that it's apparent in certain drushim that the word yechida means etim and nishoma, but that's not in a general way. Or in a more correct way, the, the yechida is only a ha'ora from the etim of the nishoma. It's albeit a ha'ora, and that'll be a dogma of our ayin of the yeshua miti. And then we're going to see that chayyor is our dogma of the 
of the iron of the Yesh Aniva. So therefore he says, Ki, the Yechide is also a shame, not the etzem of the Nishama. Uki Yedua, the Nikro Yechido, Al Shem, why is it called Yechido? Al Shem she mekabelis mi Yochid. Because she's mekabu from the level of Yochid. In other words, the word Yechido is a feminine usage of the, of the, of the noun. Yechido is feminine. So Silas explains why do we call it, you know, at such a high level in the Nishom of a bifeminine name, we should call it some other name which would indicate, you know, a tweak of, of the etem. So he said, because you, uh, the femi- femininity always indicates Kabbalah, being a Makabal Buva. Uh, <coughs> so he said, the Yechida is a Makabal, a Makabal from the level of Yochi. That's what's called Yechido. Uh, the Makabal from the level of Yochi. So in our Moshe here, the level of Yochi is the Etim of the Nishama Mamish. And so that means that the, 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 the Yechida is only a Makabal from the, from the Etim. It's a similar, that she's not the Etim itself, she's only a Makabal from the Etim. Even <coughs> Kane. Like we said a, a few minutes, like, a few times back. However, the infinite Yechida is only a Ha'ora Mimeno. Therefore, it's called Yechido, that it's only Makabo from the Etzim and Nishoma, which is our Moshe for the Yeshua Mit. In other words, Yechida, being as it is on Yahar, it's Mekabu from the Etim. What is it's Mekabu? It's Mamish Botil, Tachas Abitl, and all the milers of the, uh, of the, I know the Yeshua Miti. But of course, it's not the Etim, Atzmus of the Nishoma, it's only Yahar, Mimenu, and therefore it's compared to the Ayin of the Yeshua Amiti. That's already the iron which has got a shaykh is. In other words, that'll be a marshal for our iron of the Esha Niva. It's already got a shaykh is to the koiches hagiluim. Okay, do I? Shuhu b'chinas moker el hakoich. It's well known that hayo is a moker el hakoich. And then it's called Chayu from Russian Chayus. Yeah? So they got a shaykh is to giving chayus to something. The Ilu Yechida, as is one on, Yechida is not really chayus to the body. Yechida is just a tuik of Gilu of the Nishoma, how he's moved off from the Minyan Chayus. Albeit not Mamish the Etim, but also upon him a Gilu of the Etim. Meaning that when you function, Lafi the Yechida, you function the Mailam and the Chayus, stam of living and being alive and the, and the goof. With all that implies, but you find him inside the etzim dvekes of the neshama in the reivushta, and that's a pshat, another pshat in yechida. Another pshat in yechida is that the yechida is mekabel from the yochid of the eivushta. In other words, it's bottled and, and miyuchad. That's what we say in the famous um, haishana on uh, on yom gimel daishana on sukkah. That we say yechida le le yachdok. That the Yechida, the Nashom is called Yechida le Yachadok. It's a Yechida, Tio, Tio, uh, one, Tio, uh, absolute, that he called singularity, then the Yechida is a Yechida le Yachadok. So that's another shot, that it's Makabo from the Yachid of the Evishta. And therefore, it's higher than to be any mockier to the Koyaches. Mashikin Chayo is from Russian Chayos. I was it called Russian Nakeva, uh, Chayo. Yeah, as if that's a mashpia, it should be called Chayus, as it was called Chayo. So we have to suggest that, as we're going to see shortly, these two irons are Makabo, or, or the, the iron Ashaini is Makabo from the iron Arishan, and it's very botil, it got be the iron Arishan. So therefore, Chayo is also Beetle. She's botil. Or, she, she, or the level of Chayo is bottle Gabi, the, the level of Yechida. And therefore we can say that Chayo is Makabu in a way from Yechida, we'll soon see in a second here. However, it's called Chayo from Russian giving life. Chayus, yeah, like it's put down that after the Odom was 
great, it was written, Vahoyo Ho'odam lo nefesh chai, lo nefesh chayo, he became a living, the inya for chayas, he became a living soul. Vahayinu, he said, Dishkam ayechida, ibchinus ha'orez ha'asharavi, ibchinus chayo, ibchinus ha'ayin ha'shayach ha'koyches, yeshu mokir el kol ha'koyches. Now when we say that chayas are mokir, also a slightly withdrawn mokir, the truth is, because you have to go through uh, the Islavshis in the Es uh, and then the Gimel of Ushim until the Chayas Mamish reaches the Etz of Kalim of the Guf. But they can all be traced back to a Iskalas in the Eden for Chayo. And therefore, Xilis teaches us that Chayo is also shy to a certain extent to his Boninus, yeah, to reflection in the Abishta, not just to pure Masiris. Nefesh like Yechida. When you serve the Abish, Matzad Yechida, then it is completely beyond all Hagbalas. The Indian from Chayo has a certain Shaykhus with the usage of the Koyches, it just that it takes you up through that usage into a, a higher, a more Atzmistic Kesha. And therefore it's like an Emesa Mamutza Amiti, the Indian from Chayo, more than what Yechida is, because it's got a little bit of Shaykhus to the Yechida, but it's got also. Uh, a direct mocky a form of chayes with all the koyfes uh, uh, um, how they are in the Avery Aguf. So now we're drawing up a, a clear marshal to that is Lamaila. That the, the etzim and the shoma, that's the atzmas. Yechida is the, um, how do you call it, the iron of the yesh or miti. And chaya is the iron of the yesh uh, nivra. And the yesh or nivra are the kwech sagla. Vyadua, the vachina shechida, ain't a vachina shmoke a kloli. Yeah, the gabi hakoifes, gam loiv, I'm sorry. Vyadua, the vachina shechida, ain't a vachina shmoke a klal. That's a bit confusing, the word klal or kloi. That it's not a moke at all. The word klal here doesn't mean anything more than just a shlila. It's not a moke at all, the gabi hakoifes, gam loiv vachina shmoke a klali, not even a moke a Klali. Uh, in other words, we saw before that the iron in um, in the Moshe of the Kuech Chatzemayach, then the iron of the Yesha Nivu, was a, of the Yesha Amiti, was a Moke Klali Ochopon. But he said here the Moshe of the Yechida is more exact to our Islam Islam, because the iron of the Yesha Amiti is not a, a Moke, even a Moke Klali. So he said, but in the Inan of Yechida, it's more exact, that Moshe, because it's also not a, not a, in an, even a Moke Klali, which means that Yechida doesn't have in itself all the Koyches in the form of Klalu Prat. No, Yechida is Yechida Leyachto, it's just that they can go out from Yechida, uh, the Inan of the Koyches, but they go out, as we'll see, so through another Ha'oru into another level. Oh, but not that they're there in any real Prat el klal type state. And that's going to be Baduk Mediekis to how the Indian is Lamaila. Ukamaisha Kosu, Bramakim, Achel. So now he puts in brackets um, a very uh, fascinating but somewhat um, challenging Indian. And he brings down once again the famous uh, Sefer from the Mitla Rebbe. But uh, to say that that Sefer was challenging is putting it mildly. He said, uh, on on when the Rogachova saw the Sefer him Rabina and he said that um, that the Mitla River, even though he holds from the Alta River <laughs> tremendously and he completely and utterly bottled uh, you know, the, uh, the Alta River he said once he saw the Sefer him Rabina he saw that maybe the Mitla River <laughs> was not very far from his father and he said uh, when he saw the Sefer him Rabina he said at Gahata a Grayson Moyach he said he saw, the, he saw the middle of it cut a very big one. <laughs> That's it. All right. Um, so um, uh, it's good to have a little um, holy joke every now and then, but you've got to 
Yeah, be careful to not understand it just purely as a joke. <laughs> All right. Umi even though it's not a mokya clo, a cloli, and there was not a mokya klal, it's not a mokya at all, <laughs> to uh, the Kwechas Akdruim, Mikol Mokim, Upkinus Mokya La Mokya. It was a Chabadske Kwech. He said it's not a, a mokya, but he said it is a mokya to a mokya. Yakha, Shuhupkinus Ham Shokha Mino Hatzma. I am as because of being Rebina, Shar HaKrishma, Perik Vav, a soft Perik, soft Perik Ches. So he says that the, the Ayin of the Yesha Amiti is not a mockery to anything. He said that that's not completely true. It's not a mockery to all the day, Quakers are gluing or in Oilamas to the Indian of the Spheres for Oilamas. But he said it is a mockery to be. It is a mockia for a mockia. And he said, but, but, but you just said that it's not a mockia, so how can it be a mockia to a mockia? He said, because meyacha shuam shoka min ha'atma. Since it's only a ha'ora, and it's binim shak min ha'atma, then even though oya meyain ha moya. Emma's, it's got certain inyonim in the like from the atmas, but he's it's only Nimshak, Mia Atmos. It's only not the Atmos, only Haora, Bilvat, Mia Atmos. Therefore, from that Haora, they can go another Haora, which is even further down and further, but there are Haora, Bilvat, and they can already start about, start talking about being a market. So Nimshak, if he's added a new, a new definitional concept now, that not only the, not that the Yesh, uh, the Ayn of the Yesh Amiti is absolutely not a, a mocha at all. He's not a mocha at all if you talk about the Oilam Spea Sphere. But he is a mocha for the, to be a mocha for those in Yon. He's, the Gabi, yeah, uh, another Madre, he is like a mocha. <coughs> Why is that? Because he is, after all, I'm Shaka Bilvad Mina Atman. He's not the Pshitas of the Atman. He's only the Pshitas of the Atmas out in Aha or a Bilvad Mina Atman. And well, since it's gone away from the Atmas, it can be a mock. Now, who is he do it? How is it going to be a mock? So you remember we already had near the end of the last Mima, don't we? We remember that, don't we? Yeah. Is uh, that we had at the end of the last Mima that the Rebbe wrote in brackets uh, that how did he get from there? Uh, the iron of the Yesh, immediately the iron of the Yesh, and he wrote in brackets, Der of Chimtzu. Well, it's good to see that some people are actually nodding their heads as if they even uh, uh, want to be so audacious and suggest that they remember something. Is, um, but that's what we had at the end of the night, Derek Tzimtzum. To us, the Indian and Tzimtzum indicates, as we pointed out over there, a drastic type of uh, movement from one level to the uh, to the other. And there's a zikha that the Ha'ora, uh, if it comes to Derek Tzimtzum, is only a Ha'ora, uh, the Ha'ora. It's not the Stama Ha'ora, but it's only because you can have what's called a Ha'ora. Uh, Atmias, where a thing is just may year from its own self, our and that's called our art. It's like this Yesh, Iron of the Yesh, I mean, he's our art, because he doesn't come to a symptom, he comes to a kilo, he mina, and then there's another horror that goes off from him, and like every that, he's called a, a mocker. In that, he's, but he's only a mocker to a mocker. He's not much a mocker in himself, but he can do a symptom, and her aura give rise to something which will be a form of a mock. And that's what he, that's what he writes over there in Imre Bina, Barichas, and different Madregas and different Inyonim, Sai and the Nefesh, and Sai Lomaila, and Sai in Quechis, and Sai afterwards in Pesukim, and Achaith, and Agavaldi Harichas. But what it comes out is that the uh, the iron of the Yesh, I mean, he doesn't call it the, the, the Middle Earth, he talks about it without those names. He talks in different Giluim from the Atmos and Giluim from the Nefesh, Vukhulu, 
But suffice to say, you can pick up the nuance over there. And what it follows is that there's maybe even more than just two madrages, maybe even three or four. In other words, that the middle of is split into very detailed uh, possibilities over there. But that would fit in with what we saw in the, in the brackets last night, that when we talk about this beetle achmi that's there in the iron of the Yeshamiti, or in the, uh, in the beetle hayesh uh, uh, more in the iron of the Yesha Niva, then we, we saw there can be levels in that. There can be different like gradations. And it's all nonetheless people yeah, So maybe what we can learn from over there that even in the Ayan of the Yesha Amiti, there's like gradations yeah, from level to level in the Etim Achmias and Pinimis of the Beetle yeah, in the different matter, I guess. And then there's a symptom, and then it leads over into the yeah, the iron of the Yeshua Amiti Manish, and over there you've already got a certain shaykhus to be a mocker to the later Inyonim. But even there it's not Mamish a mocker, but it's already cradling itself Inyonim, which were able to be a mocker. So therefore it makes sense to say that these things go, like you pointed out there, a uh, symptom, but they, they go with a certain kesher and gradation, yeah, one to the other, and the symptom is like from one level to the other, and then maybe there's a more, um, what you might call, a significant symptom at a lower point, and that gives rise, but they're all horrors one from the, uh, from the other to a certain extent. This is, he's a mock him, there's a symptom, you're there, uh, much more tears, you might say, more significant. And that really gives rise uh, to the uh, uh, um, the yesh, the moke of the yesh, a nivra. A local point of that we see that you can't really say that the iron of the yesh or meaty is not a moke for the iron of the yesh a nivra. He is. He's a for, but he's only a moke of a moke. He's not really a moke. <laughs> he's a moke which leads to a moke. How can that be? If it's a dealer, if it's etzim, mummy, then it can't be. He said, oh, no, it's not etzim. It's hamshocha mina etzim. And once you've already gone into a gilu of hamshocha from the etzim, then you're not mummish in the, in the etzim anymore. You've already gone into a certain, his gallus. What does his gallus always imply? His gallus always implies that you're going towards him, huh? On a couple that you're interested so of so in appearing to somebody. Oh, that's why you've made our miyach mechor. Well, that means that ultimately we're going towards something. So therefore, even the iron of the Yeshua Amidi is a mocker of a, of a mocker. I say, come to us from a careful study of the Inyanim and of uh, this over there in the Imre Bina, even though the Imre Bina is a very difficult tefer to learn because it, it talks in uh, all sorts of different Inyanim, like it jumps from different levels and about them all in different marshals, one to the other. It's a very complex in it. Of a, after careful study over there, that seems to me to be the, the beer had over. And then it's my team to what we saw last night in that second uh, Hagua. Right, so now we go further. Fire my shakos of him, Rabino, Ulamaila. What is the level of the uh, iron of the Yeshua Miti? The iron of the Yeshu Amiti, Lamaila, we can say is the Madrega of Atik. Paklau, Ubefrat, Ubechines, Reisha de Loi Ishiodo, Shinikra Loi Yoda, Valoi Isha, Ishiata. Now that's Pnemius Atik. The Pnemius Atik, well that's called Reisha, the call Reishin. Well, that is Reisha de Lois Yada, literally the Rosh or the head point, which is not to be known. But uh, the, uh, the Sefer uh, Zoya Harakia from the Talmud of Darisal, he writes a double language. He says, Loi is Yada, Loi Yoda. It doesn't know and it's not to be known. So what does it mean it doesn't know? If it's not to be known, it doesn't know. I mean, how, what does it know or not know? He says, it doesn't know even itself. Those are the beer. It's so bottled it doesn't even know that it exists. <laughs> it doesn't even know about itself, does it? In other words, it has no feeling of the own entity whatsoever. And that's a shot. Lo yod of a lo yisya yada. And 
that's the union of the Amitius Madrege of the Ein of the Yeshua Amiti. In other words, Pneumius Atik was Mamish Gila Lakus, that doesn't feel itself personal, it has no entity like we saw before. Ephes, Bill, Tercha, Ephes, Mamish, that's the Emma's Madrege. Da Bittel de la Yoda, who Yesha Gammy Prinus Ucham, you may scratch him off him again. Like we mentioned earlier, the Bittel of Ucham, who Clappy Ilo Sailois. And he said the bitl of Lo Yoda is higher than that even. Uh, even though we saw that Bab Ucham was the bitl of Keser, Keser Avogadi Yu, Er Tsachum and Tsukta, Ucham Hu, Klapi Ilis, Ailis. And we saw that was a bitl in Etimamahus, but it was a bitl of what we called Heder Tvisas, Mokim, but it had a mile in it in the feeling of the bitl in a Pneumis Dika Oven, it had a certain mile in it in the bitl Kilo Bet as you might say, indeed. Uh, however, he said, the bitl from Lo Yoda is higher even than that, with its smiles together. Because Lo Yoda, there's nothing to feel. Lo Yoda doesn't even know it exists. It has no sensitivity of the own soul. The ilu ucha means that there is a feeling, but it loses yeah, its, its own dignity, dignity of its own feeling and turns black. It goes completely and utterly ois matias. Oh, that means there is something to make dark. Of the Layada means that Malachatkira ain't oid no, but it is nothing to be felt whatsoever. The Beatle de Layada, who yes, a young man. How can we say it's not known? We're talking about it. How can we say it's not known if we're talking about it? Oh, yes. <laughs> it's, it's a Bobat Shikashia. Right, huh? if, if it's not known, how can we talk about it? So uh, uh, the answer is that um, uh, not known, but Derklau, is, uh, but certain people uh, knew about it. Um, but uh, the, the answer, in other words, it depends, uh, you know, what league you're holding in. Uh, but to answer your question a little bit more technically, I mean, that was a Balbatish question, that's a Balbatish answer. A, a little bit more technically, uh, the author brings it over there in Igeros Akoidish in chapter uh, 19. Uh, he brings over there that um, there's what we call Yedia Samahus and Yedia Samahamatiyas. Well, I mean, Yedia Samahus, knowing the very essence of Madregas in Ruchnias and Alakus, uh, almost nobody knows anything except for Navim. Emerson, Navim, they know certain Madregas, but there were Iyam Mamish in, in Elkos. Of all other Madregas, we only know that these things do exist. You know, we, we have a certain gift from Hashem that we come to know that there is such a thing. If I so you tell us how much he is, you're allowed to have in, uh, in uh, Rachel and Lois Shaddai. Of a Yetiyas Amahus, or to actually be macabre from that, that you're not going to be able to. Does it have uh, its own Yetiyas Amahus? Yeah. Does it, does it have, does it? Yeah, Ishada doesn't rule out that you, you can't have any Yetiyas Amahus. Yetiyas Amahus you can't have. You can't know it's there. Does it know it's there? Yeah. Does it know it is there? Does it know about itself? Yeah. It doesn't know anything about itself. Well, your da means it, it doesn't know anything about itself. <laughs> That's a pellet. But uh, the, the Altaravis is in uh, in Lakuta too, in the Drusha Yama Kippurim. The Altaravis is mummies. Well, your da be at my class, that's why she's. Doesn't, it doesn't know that it's there. <laughs> I mean, ultimately speaking, I guess it must know somehow or another. That <laughs> but in the normal way that any level, even in El Kus, Lamayla, is aware of the fact that it's aware of El Kus or something, it's not like that. It's so part of him that it's Kilo. You can't talk about it in the ordinary way. You can't say that it feels itself. But I suppose, ultimately speaking, there must be some form of gift that the Avish gives it, that at least <laughs> of the, <laughs> of the, in a way that's very hard for us to picture. Let's put it that way. I mean, the whole level is very hard for us to picture. <laughs> Yeah, that's the how call the ones with the mock here. Well, this is maybe not so much the actus with the mock here. No, actus means in its own self. 
in his very soul. And the absolute simplicity, that's one in it. And because it has absolutely no matthias, because it is ayin vayefes, yeah, but that's more the beetle of the Indian. In other words, the first is the, is the description of the etim madrega of the thing. In other words, that it's actus, everything is between us, yochid and actus, petoy I, why does he, uh, does he say actors? It's not my the, the, um, the etem, but pshit as we saw before means no, cl- uh, is colorless in itself, cloud, only madregas. And that's the etem gilui of its madrega. Heda mitzi say, yeah, uh, in an oifem van ayim, whatever, that's the beetle. He therefore ain't a be'erach who begin the mokila, it's not in the whole definitional content of being a moke. <coughs> like we pointed out that something is bottle, but tachlis can't be a moke. moke prati of a gam, moke klali. In other words, the second ayin, zero mashanim shakha ha'ora. In other words, the first time we've used that expression, that it's, it's a level which is nimshukha bedel ha'ora from the ayna. In other words, the ayna is ha'ora. This is ha'ora di ha'ora. But, as we pointed out, the Rebbe pointed out in the last one, in the bracket of Russian, der tzimtzum. So as we pointed out, there's two ways that ha'oras can be nimsha. One is in an even ha'ora atzmi, it's just a ha'ora directly from the, albeit only a ha'ora, but it's directly from the level of the atzmi. Or it can be a ha'ora derech tzimtzum v'yelide, meaning that there's like a, a kfita be'erech, and diru ha'erech in the etim ha'ora itself. And therefore we have to say that that's, what this expression here, Mashanim Shukha Ha'ora Mepkina Sahayin Ha'achmi, or this is Kuilin itself, these two nuances. First of all, it's only Ha'ora, and in that Ha'ora itself, it's also Derek Chimchum. The Ha'ora Zu, Ena Mepkina's Dveikas Kokach, Ena Mepkina's Pshitas, Ubkina's Hedra Matsias. It's not Bedveikas, it's not Mamish Miyukhad with the Achmas. Now, why? Because it's gone through a ha'ora and a tzimtzum. In other words, not bederach, yeah, dveikus, meaning just absolute oneness with the moke. Uh, it's got a certain dveikus, but not dveikus ko kach. It's not in or even from pshitas, because it's already undergone the union of tzimtzum. It's not in or even from complete lacking of any ma. Well, that's the beetle. It doesn't have that type of beetle. Yeshom b'pinus is kalulus akoyches for hamadregis protiyes, and he said in that level, it's already shy to talk about a is kalulus, a interexistence and an intertwining literally of all the koyches and all the levels protiyes liyes b'pinus mokir leko proti hamadregis shenitzavu to be a form of a mokir yeah, to all the madregis protiyes, all the specific madregis which are later going to come. Out and be mishavia, albeit they're not just ordinary klal or a prak, but it's already even cause there. That we can say that in a very uh, delicate way, all the pratima are present there and include him inside the uh, klal, albeit it's not just pure klal or a prak, but it's already the existence of the klalim in a certain abstractity inside the klal. Mashenkin in the the iron of the Asia Amiti does not chaya. <laughs> how does how does how does a symptom just get rid of all the pshas and all the hadram and suicide? Because you see, symptom is what's called a a a feat of a diluk shalobe era. You follow? Mm-hmm. I mean, the truth is that there are different types of symptom also. Different types of symptom. There's uh, a symptom which is only a mute. So enochanami in that type of symptom. It could be that uh, we wouldn't necessarily say that we lose all of the union, because in some ways we don't. Oh, well, it's a symptom uh, more bedimmed to the symptom Arisha, or maybe the 
Kavana Zid, like I pointed out, and that's here. It could be the Kavana Zid on the Tim Tamarishan. Then you, you have a complete vacuum and you start literally all over again with your Ha'ora. So then you bring back the Ha'ora in the way that you want already, according to the whole new situation. Because to a certain extent you've been Mabdil, and that's what he says, Ain't no good to make his Koka. To a certain extent you've been Mabdil yourself from the Peters of the Etim. And therefore you can talk about Inyonim which are not Patafis Upper. Why couldn't you do it in one, one shot? Huh? Why, why can you just make a vacuum and then come out with the, the second iron? Ah, why, did, why, why, yeah, why, why do we need the uh, iron of the Yesha Miti? Why do we have to have a Ha'ora and then... Uh, yeah, ain't a Hanami. Uh, well, you see, t- two answers to that. First of all, you, the, you can't have a Tzimtum in Atzimus Yisbara. I mean, you could, maybe, but it's not. It's a long Maduba to work, to say. A Tzimtum be Etzimah uh, Atzimus, that we can't say because uh, that would imply some sort of change or shinui or I feel with the greatest delicacy in the atmosphere so that way you can't say it. And therefore in order to cause all these different leaders, we have to have the first of all the iron of the Yeshua meeting. You follow? Now the truth of the matter is that Mitad call Yochil, Mitad on Nippon and say she could have made him. But I pointed out in these classes uh, already a few times that uh, the, the great Mukabalim, like the Riza and the others, they were Megala to us that the Abisham wanted that the whole Seder should be something that makes ultimately sense even in the mind of a, a Mubudika entity like the Odom Lamata. And that he should be to a certain extent a Dugma of all these in Yonim. You follow? Whatever the Abisham made it with a whole Seder that will ultimately be Skavil, each of what he considered in his whole kavana to be the order. And therefore we make it by uh, b- even goes there. The first one has to be a ha'ora and then a tzimtum in the ha'ora and not in the atmos. Of a head nachanami, if they're able to just make it astray from himself, then it's brought down in certain drushim from the rabbeim, what that needs a view. I mean, I'm not saying it's so simple, but had the Abish to made it that way, then this famous concept of the market of having all these things between us and so you better creep back up the ladder and gradually make some kiss with him, that wouldn't have been shy because the water come directly from him. And here you are down here, and you're absolutely shaloi be'er, shaloi be'er, shaloi be'er, eh, There's no way you get to it. <laughs> you just ain't right completely. Uh, forget it. And then for the Abish to make all these unbelievable different levels. Right? And the purpose of sinners is to reveal to us all these different levels, and not only just to reveal to us the levels, but to show us how our avoider can relate to them. Now, if you notice, it's almost impossible sometimes in these sentences to differentiate between the Moshe and the Nimshah, how it is Lamata and how it is Lamayla. It's swinging the whole time. You notice that the Lashayna alternates. Uh, somebody talking in the Nefesh, and all of a sudden you're talking back in the Nefesh, or you're talking in the Moshe and the Nimshah. Because we pointed out in one of these shulim that the whole point of all these mashalim and all these inyonim is to make you see the nimshal in the moshal and to live in the inyonim for a little kus there. Can you understand me? The father Ames have made it in that uh, amazing oifan. Uh, Al it follows the there that this is masha nimshal ha'orim yibchinah so ayin ha'atzmi the orazu enum chinah devekes kolkach and therefore it will be I'm not here to call Proteam and Drake, Shinis Avu Ki. The Hinis Aura Zu, the iron of the Yesha Nibra, Yeshlo Erech, the Shaykhus Elha Oilamaz. And that's achieved through the Timson. Well, that Erech and certain Shaykhus, even though it's not yet Mamish Batashlis, are Gilus, there's still quite a few other Madragas to go through before you actually reach the age uh, Nivra, but it's only got a uh, Erev and a Shaykh. Uh, right, so now we start a whole new union, while Pia now, Yuvan, the base between us are iron, Agam Shishneem, Nikroi Mayim, Mikomoke, Ike, Amitius, Shem Ayin, who between us are iron, surely Eshu Amiti. Now, even though both of them are called Ayin, we're going to see that the word ayin, it's like a chosam and misapfeich, like the two of them. In other words, the ayin of the Eshamiti is called ayin, al shem ayin, it's mamish ayin where? It's, 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 it's bottle, but it's a beetle, and it's only ours, so therefore it's ayin from all sides. It's ayin amiti. For you, the ayin of the Eshamira, he's only going to be called ayin from the point of view of the Yes, like every day, he's already a form of a 
Ayesh is already a mocker. We said every mocker is a, a, some, some form of a yeah. Oh, but like, the Nibra, the Nibra is going to say, well, I don't really understand or I don't really appreciate that iron which has got some sort of error to me. I'm sorry, that, that Elkus has got some sort of error to me, and therefore I call it iron, something I don't really understand. Is that the word iron in the, in the second case is going to be almost like a borrowed name. Either the word iron in the first case is a Shem Amiti. So we'll see more about that in coming and uh, future and um, uh, uh, progressing um, episodes. Please, uh, Shem. Is, um, so it was good that you met uh, the rabbi this afternoon. It was good that you heard him, that you met him. This, um, he's a he's a Ish Emes. He's a man that he doesn't know any country. He's not shot any politics or to any you know, go on his, All he knows is the river and bring him a ship. Very, very fascinating. Good. Tell him about the Rebbe. Would it be right to say that uh, the Rebbe is like a, like a mock for for, 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 for the Yidin? I mean, that the Rebbe is like a makor for the Yidin? A makor for the Gilui? For the Yidin, for, for the Jews. The Yidin? Yeah, the Rebbe is a makor. Oh, no, you're he's far beyond a makor. <laughs> but also, also, you know, also, also the Rebbe is a, is a, is a bit of a Metsir, right? The Rebbe is a bit of a Metsir. The Rebbe is not the same safe, Malubish and a goof. Right, so how could that, how could that, but we just said, we just said that it can't. I can't explain that to you. But tell me, how do I know that? How do I know that that's the okay? case? So Rebbe said. Rebbe said it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say with the other Rebbe when he wrote that Hagor over there? What did he say? The mighty me moiri, I for my teacher. I know you can have cashiers, and I don't really understand it myself. The Rebbe Chaim Patal said he didn't understand. I will catch his head as I do. You follow? That's the same thing the Rebbe said that. And the Rebbe heard that from, from the Friedrich Rebbe and he heard it, uh, they heard it all the way back to uh, whenever. Is catch his head. In other words, the Rebbe is another giver altogether. He's not just a mocker and he's not just a nice leader. This is the same thing I go. Why are all the troubles, why are all the troubles in, going on in the world and the moment else to solve a problem? Because nobody thinks they have to listen to him. All sorts of tirutim. But you ask any of them, the Chadre Chadorim, deep inside their own Chadre Chadorim, why do you think all the troubles? I say, because they didn't listen to the Rebbe. Until somebody wakes up and has Rahmanus on himself and the whole Jewish people that you gotta to listen to the Rumba, otherwise it's not gonna work. Yeah. So you know what it means? Clap and cop in Bantamine, you ever heard this question? It means to have, to hack your head into the wall. 